Let's give away the very first geeky award ever in this galaxy and probably surrounding galaxies. It is the 2013 Lifetime Achievement Geeky Award. And to present that award, please welcome actor, director, writer, master of all things Robot Chicken, and star of the 1985 ABC After School special, I Wanna Go Home, Seth Green. What's up, y'all? Well, I'm here to present the first ever Lifetime Achievement Geeky Award to a man whose work has either directly or indirectly inspired just about everyone in this room. True? The very first comic book I ever read was The Fantastic Four when I was a kid. It changed my life by introducing me to heroes that quickly became much more than drawings on a page. They were like my friends, guys. They were my friends. And that was only the beginning. I love you back. <laughs> Soon after, I became fanatical about all the other characters, Iron Man, Hulk, the X-Men, and especially Spider-Man. I was completely and totally captivated by the heroes that lived in the Marvel Universe. So I owe a lifetime's worth of gratitude to a man whose extraordinary imagination built that universe, Mr. Stan Lee. So, hold on, I got more. Still more, still more. Stan Lee is the ultimate geek maker. He turned me, he turned you, and millions of fathers, sons, mother, mothers, and daughters into geeks like us. And for that, we couldn't be more grateful. He was able to do this because his characters resonated with readers, no matter what their age was. Ordinary people called upon to do extraordinary things with superhuman abilities, but heroes who were flawed, just like us. They were misunderstood outcasts with problems you could relate to. So sure, Spider-Man had to deal with a symbiote from space, a man made of sand, dude who turned his failed special effects and stuntman gig into a supervillain career and more. But he also had girl problems. And I loved seeing that because I could totally relate. Because I too was having run-ins with the lizard all the time. These days, Stan is still a pure geek at heart. But he is also part rock star. He's the godfather of ink. He is the chairman of the drawing board. The man is the Hugh Hefner of comic books. And not only is, have his characters permeated pop culture and geeked them through movies and TV, but Stan himself has become a cultural icon. People all over the world make homages dedicated to and inspired by him just like this. couple of cortisone shots and that man is crazy. <laughs> Geeks will wait all night in lines outside movie theaters dressed in homemade costumes just to find Stan Lee's cameo in the next Marvel movie. Like a real life Where's Waldo. I know, I've been like, oh, there he is. He's stirred up that kind of excitement in people for the past 70 years. There's a reason his work has such staying power. The look of awe and wonder that crossed the faces of kids picking up an issue of X-Men number one in 1963 is the exact same look that kids get today when discovering Stan's heroes for the first time. His message is timeless. He wrote, with great power comes great responsibility. And to look at the work he's done, it's clear that nobody has taken that advice to heart more. Stan continues to show us that important issues and controversial subjects can be tackled through our favorite heroes and villains, and that just as much as a hero may be super, they must be equally human. He champions the underdogs, the people who are just a little bit different. He sees the everyday bravery in people overlooked by society. He has never been afraid to write a strong female character, and when other, even when others treated women as just mere damsels in distress. <laughs> oh, 
All the tough ladies in the audience know what I'm talking about. The man is just an all-around badass, y'all. And it is my genuine pleasure and honor to award the first 2013 Geeky Awards Lifetime Achievement Award to Mr. Stan Lee. And, on, and to say on behalf of Geeks Everywhere, Excelsior! Mine. Where's Seth? Seth. Yes. If you can't say something nice about somebody, Sorry. <laughs> I hate, I hate getting an award from a man who has far more credits than I have, who is far more versatile, who's a writer, producer, director, voiceover guy, and he gets better and better and busier and busier. I'm jealous as hell, and I'm grateful as hell. Thank you very much, Seth. And if that doesn't get me a voiceover on his next show, I take it all back. Now, I must tell you, no, I really mustn't tell you, but I'm up here anyway. Um, I'm very thrilled to get this, whatever the hell it is. I was thinking to myself, you probably want a speech. You deserve a speech. What the hell am I going to say? The first thing I thought I ought to do is learn what a geek is. So I asked about a dozen people who seemed to qualify as geeks. No two people gave me the same answer. I will bet you could go among everybody, or somebody could, or Seth could, go among everybody in this audience and say, what's a geek, and he'll get a different answer. So what I want to do is instruct all of you to work on this. The next time I get my next award, I would like to know what the hell it's for and what a geek is. However, I thought geek, being a geek was important, and you're wondering, what am I doing, huh? I thought it was important enough that I should write an ode a hymn. I have written a geek hymn. And since I have a captive audience, it's a song. I'm not a great singer. Good, perhaps. Um, I don't write music. So what I did, I adapted it to the tune of Yankee Doodle. Because with Yankee Doodle, you don't have to pay a royalty. Now, I'm going to, in my own terrible way, I'm going to sing this little geek hymn to you, and I'm sure there won't be a dry eye in the place. Let's see now. Let us praise those who are geeks and pity those who aren't. We're a very special clique all else is just abhorrent. <laughs> Only geeks know what is in. That's why we're so admired. You could hear geeks speak all day and never once be tired. <laughs> Last part. Because <laughs> I saw you starting to walk out. <laughs> That's why I'm so proud tonight because I'm with my peers. All of those who aren't geeks are crying in their beers. <laughs> so, here's a toast to all things geek. 
so hip, so in, so clever. My heart is filled. I can't speak, but I'll be geek forever. <laughs> I had to write something while I was coming to the place. And I, I think you're all great. I still have no idea what a geek is, but I'm glad to be one. And all I can say, and it comes from the heart, Excelsior! Thank you. Thank you.